when we talk about uh, R&D, why I'm emphasizing on this particular factor is because, you know, uh, through the R&D is what we are looking at our performance enhancements, our advancements in uh, performance, be it cost, be it reliability, be it safety parameters, be it testing and prototyping, be it formulation of the uh, regulatory compliances, or be it, you know, seeking uh, tailor-made, customized solutions which are specific to the nature for what they are being desired. When I gave you that example as to what is required in Siachen is not what is required in the plains or in the deserts, I am talking about that uh, customization. That is what is required from uh, the industry. And I am also looking at a capability that this industry should have at the end of the day that even if we are in a conflict, you should be able to give me a solution based on my requirements within the earliest possible time frame. So that is the level of investments in R&D that has to happen. So with 2-3% of investment of the overall revenue, things will not happen mm -hmm. unless you invest, you know, 25, 30, 40%. That is the scale or that is the quantum or that is the magnitude that we are looking at. If we have to reach and uh, possibly uh, look at developing products which are absolutely high-end. Then we're talking about the uh, manufacturing or the uh, private industry which you represent and where we seek a very uh, strong kind of a bond, a very strong kind of a relationship to develop. Because through the industry, we are looking at investing in R&D. We, through the industry, we are looking at, you know, quality. Through industry, we are looking at, uh, 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 you know, giving us those tailor-made solutions advancements in technologies which are related to manufacturing, the techniques. Through the industry, we are looking at enhancing our capabilities. Through industry, we are looking at training ourselves. You are the people who are imbibing and have the best of the practices, whether it is related to supply chain or whether it is related to logistics or it is related to, you know, the manufacturing per se. The integration of the logistic platforms. Through the industry, we are looking at things like digital transformation. When we look at and we talk about where the new technology has to come in, and we say that uh, AI and machine learning, blockchain technologies, robotics, automation, digitalization, you know, enhancing the cyber security, the resilient uh, supply chains, these are practices which you people have over a period of time matured within your own systems. We just want to align and based on the uh, customization that has to be brought in to suit our requirements is what there has to be this kind of a bonhomi which has to be maintained, which has to be, you know, put into place. So that's the type of synergy that we are looking at from the private uh, industry. And when we have a vision that we have to be a net exporter of certain things, categories are phenomenal, categories are enormous, categories are numerous. But if we have to be the net exporter, then you are the people who have to be, you know, the, uh, as the manufacturers give us that quotient where we become the net uh, exporters, of course, after taking care of our own needs. So that is the type of uh, requirements and that is, type, that is the type of an association or a relationship that we are looking at between the armed forces and the private industry and that is where you have to, you know, scale up to do many things in a better kind of a manner. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.